I'm Catfish Dave, and I'm here to talk about the best thing about my boat. Well, first, let me tell you about what I don't like about the boat. Number one, the trailer. These idiots that made this trailer, first of all, let's talk about these lights right here. Now, these ain't the original lights on the trailer. The original lights were non-submersible. That's right, non-submersible. You heard that. What, did he say non-submersible? lights on a boat trailer yes i did the dummies that put the lights on this trailer that built this trailer that put this trailer together had unsubmersible lights uh, they had the same kind of bulbs in there as your grandpa's 1965 mustang okay i'm driving home one night and uh i realized i ain't got no tail lights you know and uh well that was the problem come on guys did you really think if I got that boat, that I wasn't going to back it down into the water to get it off the trailer. Well, that's what it looks like. The fact is, when guys buy boats, they intend on putting them in the water. So you need submersible tail lights. The second thing I did not like about the lights. On most boat trailers, this light is protected by something. It's either under this beam here, or it has a metal plate coming over the top that it's bolted to. And what happens is that plate or the fact it is under something keeps your boat from hitting this light. Well, they just got this thing out here in the middle of nowhere. And what happens? Well, you see it. I keep hitting the light with my boat. I've thought about replacing the light, but I'm thinking to myself, why? I'm just going to break it again. So I keep a roll of electrical tape in the truck. And uh, every time I go to the boat ramp, I just retape the light back on the trailer now we'll talk about something else that i don't like about this trailer i thought it was pretty stupid look at these boards man look at that they stand straight up and down uh you don't see that on real boat trailers most of them the board goes this way where it can support more of the boat you know the the weight is more evenly dispersed across the board and what happens when something's like this it just wants to lay over anyway. And that's what happened to me going down the road one night when I hit a pothole. It literally just laid one of the boards completely over and the other one it bent it up pretty good. See these things under here? Those aren't even welded on, they're bolted on. This ain't a boat trailer. It's a kayak trailer or a canoe trailer. What were you thinking putting a 17 foot long boat with the 50 horse Yamaha knowing it's gonna have batteries and everything else on it on a board like that. I know most humans typically have the same physical characteristics, the same body parts and organs, but these people didn't have a brain. This is the third part I don't like about this boat, is this cross beam under here. The only thing supporting it is these middle ears. This is the integrity of the strength of this boat right here. All the way from the tongue, all the way to the back, the way this thing is designed, this has to hold it up. And you've got these little uh, eighth inch thick ears that's not even welded. It's just nothing. It's just these little ears, okay? That stun broke down on me one time uh, and my boat was basically dragging the road and I had to order that part again from like Washington State from the Easy Loader trailer guys. I mean, come on guys, what were you thinking? I mean, did you order this trailer from China in a box and just bolt it together? That is the biggest line of crap I've ever seen somebody try to sell someone. Hey, I've never had a boat before, but it didn't take me one month of having this boat trailer and realizing all the things wrong with this boat trailer. You would think with all the years of technology and all the learning processes and getting the bugs out of stuff, all this stuff would have been figured out back in the 1940s. This is another thing I did not like about the boat. Well, there's actually two things right here within camera view. For one is this. You see how the boat goes to one side? Or to go to the other side? This ain't even made for this boat, man. It either needs to be a whole lot wider to go on either side of these drops, or it needs to be a whole lot narrower to go right there. And to add to misery, this piece right here, they've got it bolted on crooked and what is happening is you can see the strap all bound up to one side because this thing 
was permanently bolted, uh, screwed through, and not lined up with the tongue of the trailer, okay? Whoever put this trailer together, uh, this must have been on a Friday, almost quitting time type of deal, because this is garbage. It's just pure garbage. While we are right here, let's just discuss the fact that uh, this boat is kind of picked up off these boards a little bit. And you can see where this boat was originally designed to sit farther back and it's ripping all the carpet off this thing. But the problem with having it back to where it's supposed to be is if you do that, this chain won't even reach to lock down. Okay? So you get this boat about where it's supposed to be and then you gotta be a real strong guy to winch it. It'll hit this point and then you just gotta uh, get it up to here. You know what I'm saying? Because this wasn't long enough for it to sit the way it needed to be. Now, if it was back where it needed to be, this here would go right here. But hey, if I do that, I'm not gonna be able to hook my chain up. So in other words, this could work, but I'm gonna have to get a different chain, you know. The point is, is somebody put this together and should have realized this needed a longer chain. Easy loader trailers, nothing easy about it, I can tell you that. There's no nothing to guide this on uh, this way, and the way these boards are standing straight up and down, if you get on the wrong side of one of these drop points, uh, your boat's gonna be up on the trailer. The slightest bit of wind or current, you're screwed. Hey, I can order some sideboards and put on there, but you know, for what I pay for the boat, that should have already been there. Easy loader trailer for this boat, I give it a thumbs down. No thought into it, no care whatsoever. As far as the boat itself, it is a all weld 1756. I think it's called a marsh maybe. It's got a little bit of storage here, a little bit of storage there. Uh, no live well put in it. It was just a base price boat. I paid $11,000 for this boat with the 50 horse Yamaha motor. First problems I had of the boat was this seat. Well, these screws right here, uh, one of them over here wasn't even actually threaded into a hole. It was just kind of a guide to put this thing down here and drill the other holes. So one's not even grabbing, which caused all this movement and play, okay? And what happened is my seat basically busted loose. I now have it JB welded on there, and it's still trying to work its way loose because... This all through here is just way too flimsy. So that sucked. You know, hey, I weigh 240 pounds. You're gonna have to do better than that. As far as the rest of the boat, uh, it's pretty seaworthy. I've been out in some big waters with this boat and uh, I've had a little bit of water come over the back end this way from major ocean cruisers. If I get hit from the side, uh, if I get from, if I get hit from the front with big waves, I'm not too worried about it. As far as the boat itself, the rest of it, well, it's all welded, man. There's nothing really to leak or go wrong with it. And what I like about this is I can pull in at some of the nastiest places in the world that don't have a dock. And I can just pull this thing right up on the concrete ramp or the bank or whatever and go catch my fish. One of the things I like about the boat is the depth finder. Of course, to me, after having a Helix 7, I think you're better off to have either the most expensive one made or one of the cheaper models. To be honest with you, uh, the main thing I use the depth finder for is to read the actual depth itself for when I am suspend drifting so I know if I'm getting shallower or deeper. I do a lot of stuff just off my phone. I could get by on my phone even without a depth finder. I've done it there for a couple of weeks. Definitely one of the best things about this boat is this Mini Coda power drive. Uh, this is the Riptide version, which that's just salt water, it's white. Um, 
It's got the eye pilot. It's got the spot lock. And uh, this has totally changed my fishing. I, I could get by without an anchor as long as I'm fishing where there's current, wind, or just suspending. Uh, you know, matter of fact, I haven't even used my anchor since I've had this. I could, you know, I get in shallow water or something, uh, live bait and flatheads or something, I may double anchor, you know, if I'm in like six, eight foot of water. But man, a lot of times I'm over a hundred foot of water. You know how hard that is to anchor in a hundred foot of water and then get your boat positioned to whatever you saw on your depth finder or your Navionics app. So this right here has been a lifesaver. Uh, one time when the spawn was tough, a lot of fish were still on the nest, some were coming off. Uh, I was out one day and uh, I was just looking at my fish finder and going over structure. And every time I seen something I liked, I would just hit the spot lock and drop baits right over that area. I'm fishing right here in front of this ramp. Got a bunch of storms moving through around four or five o'clock. I just started marking fish and so I stopped over it. I just stopped first place I seen them. Hey, that's what that thing's for, right? There we go, there we go, there we go. That's an ugly post-spawn fish there. Fin's all chewed up. You can see where he's starting to heal up from the sores on top of him. Got some sharp old teeth on him. Old post-spawn fish. Ugly old thing, man. Some of these blues can look pretty bad this time of year. Of course, even the Mini Coda Power Drive is not my favorite thing about the boat. Uh, my favorite thing about this boat is the fact that it floats. This is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.